frame rate, the most coveted commodity in the world of gaming. Game performance is a key part of your experience and perspective when you play a game, and Minecraft is no exception. If your frame rate looks like this, then you're probably not having a great time. So Minecraft modders took that personally. If we take a quick look at Modrinth, there's a ton of optimization mods specifically designed to boost your frame rate and general performance. Some of which, like Sodium, are so good that you can boost your frames up to a possible 500%. So all that got me thinking, what would happen if I put together a mod pack full of as many compatible performance mods as possible and then tried to push the game as far as I possibly could. <laughs> Yo! So much fire! Classic Narfi, am I right? Is it possible to crash Minecraft in its most optimized state? Well, let's find out. A key element of this challenge is, of course, hardware. Even with performance mods, there's only so far a mod can push the game. If you caught my previous video, you'll know that I now have a 4090. I don't want to talk about it. And that is going to do some pretty wild things for my frame rate. In the process of upgrading my PC, though, I managed to somehow uh, corrupt my boot drive. That was stressful to say the least. But regardless, I'm now not only running a 4090, but also a fresh installation of Windows on a nice, speedy new SSD. This computer is in peak condition to give us one of the best Minecraft frame rates of any PC on the market. But I do also understand that this isn't what most people play games on, and in order to get really great performance in any modern game without emptying your wallet, <laughs> you probably shouldn't go with the hardware I have. Instead, I want to point you to my partnership with Apex Gaming PCs. If you want to boost your frame rate without selling uh, both of your kidneys, then these guys are the way to go. You can choose from any of our three preset rigs with excellent specs to get top level performance in modern games. And you won't have to deal with a random dying boot drive while you're trying to install a brick into a case that's just barely big enough to fit it! They use great parts from great brands, and you can customize these PCs with other parts if you're looking for something specific. Head down to my link in the description and use code NARFI for up to $250 off your next purchase, and to support the channel. Huge thanks to Apex for their partnership and for the discount for you guys. But now that we have the hardware, let's talk about the mods. We're using Minecraft 1.20.1 to take advantage of any general performance optimizations they've added over time, but we're also basically replacing all those systems with modded ones, so it might not be too important. As the main performance boost, we have Sodium, and these numbers should really speak for themselves. Minecraft's lighting engine is also kind of meh, so I replaced the entire thing with a mod called Starlight. There's also some other things that help with general system management, but that also sounds kind of boring, so all you need to know is that it's speedy. If you want to see a full list of mods, I'll have them all linked in the description so you can see how much it'll boost your own frame rate. With all these mods in place, we're getting a baseline FPS of a very tame uh, 1000 to 1200, and if I just look up into the sky, we're running at a cool, you know, 2000 frames per second. <laughs> so with all that running as planned, I'm gonna throw 30 minutes on the clock and see if I can break this. And if I can do that, then I know that this 4090 probably probably wasn't worth it, at least for Minecraft. For editing, it's great, though. This'll be easy, right? All right, so the first thing I want to try is just the, the you know, classic spawn in a bunch of entities and see what happens. So I just want to summon a bunch of wardens and just see what it does. Boop. Here we go. Let's just see what... Oh, no. <laughs> let's, mo let's move, guys. There we go. There we go. I definitely should have uh, spawned them on top of this. I'm going to move the spawn location. There we go. Okay, all right. Move. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Beep. There we go. That's a little better. <laughs> all right, we're running at a cool 60, 55 frames per second now. This is still pretty playable, though. 45 frames per second, 46 frames per second. Yeah, it's, it's doing all right. It's doing all right. This, I feel like, would be way laggier in it without these mods. Excuse me. Excuse me, please. Excuse me. Where even is the command block? Oh, here it is. Excuse me. Excuse me. Did I get it? I think I got it. I got it. All right. Uh, that's a few. Classic Narfi video. We're running at a cool, you know, 22 frames per second. This is a lot of entities, though. Let me get rid of those. That's 1,092 entities, which is not bad. Not bad at all. I'm pretty impressed that the game was running that smoothly with 1,000 entities. All right, all right. So that's a good test of how much this thing can handle. But of course, 1,000 wardens isn't going to do it. Out of curiosity, I do want to just see what, like, a billion dolphins looks like. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, this is fun. I should have done the dolphins first. I I like the dolphins because they kind of spread out, which kind of helps. This is, this is good. I like this. I'm just going to kind of let this run, but the struggle is that, like, I don't think this is really going to crash everything. We got a lot of time left. Okay, well, this has been running for, like, way longer than the warden, so I'm kind of impressed that it's still at, like, 80 frames per second. I guess dolphins don't really affect it as much. Interesting. Man, look at them all, though. That's so cool. This is crazy. There's so many. I think dolphins play with items, too, right? What, if I throw that in the water, do they all gravitate? Whoa! <laughs> 
Oh, they totally do. That was so cool. It was kind of terrifying. It was like piranhas, but it was so sick. Purple wool, take the wool. Watch this. Look at that. They all just home in on it. Whoa. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. That's so neat. What? I was not expecting to see this today. <laughs> that is so cool. That is so many dolphins. There's just so many. Hmm. I wonder where the items could be. <laughs> look at all the dolphins that are just like standing still. Hey, have some fun. Play with the thing. Whoa. <laughs> look at them all spring to life. All right. That is so cool. But I'm having too much fun. I only have 22 minutes left. I'm sorry, dolphin lovers. <laughs> 1,600 entities. I was going to say, like, that felt like more than the wardens. So dolphins are less performance intensive. Who would have thought? All right, well, here's my next thought. If I just, you know, put a, put a few... Yeah, that seems... That seems about right. <laughs> I just want to see what happens with all these items. Oh, right. I just forgot that these... <laughs> oh, oh, that one went. Okay, here goes the rest. Whoa. I want to see if... Whoa, that's... Whoa. Whoa, they're coming out of light speed. I want to see if this, like, does anything. Does this do anything? Yeah, that's that's just, that's nothing. This is nothing. The scaffolding isn't going to do a thing. That was so much scaffolding, though. Oh, my gosh. All uh, right, well, in that case. <laughs> I do want to try it one more time, though, with just, like, a few more scaffolding and just see what happens. How many items would it take, you know? How much, with optimized Minecraft, how many items would it be? That is a lot of scaffolding. I, I kind of messed up there. Don't worry about it. If I fill from there to there with a then this will go. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> it's so weird. The item's coming out of light speed. What is going on? Yeah, I don't think this is really going to do much. It's doing something, but like that was a lot of items. This is kind of scary. I got 18 minutes left, but uh, this, is, this isn't this is really doing much. I knew this would be difficult, but I actually didn't know it would be this difficult. Okay. All right. What do we do next? I, I need to think through things that I've done in breaking Minecraft with your dumb ideas and think through which one's really broken. Um, um. I mean, reality is I could just fill this entire world with a bunch of dolphins, but like, where's the fun in that, you know? Oh, you know what I could do? I could do the mob spawner one. Yeah, this could work. I don't know if this optimizes the experience orbs, though, so I guess let's just find out. Whoa, wait. It's actually giving me frames in this case. The other one, it just, like, immediately broke. All right, we're getting somewhere. This is good. Oh, yo, that's insane. Okay, wow. I am astounded because in, when I did this in Breaking Minecraft with your dumb ideas, this immediately crashed the game. This time, it's, like, Actually, I have a couple frames right now. Wow, this is cool. <laughs> Wait, look at the line through the middle. What is that? Do I do I do my eyes deceive me? Is that the is that the subscribe button? <laughs> Dude, I actually have like one and two frames per second. That's insane. Look at all that down there. Whoa. I was not expecting that to work. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, it, it went back up. What happened there? We have definitely done something weird here today. <laughs> That's so much experience on the ground in the ocean. Look at all that. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. All right. I like that one. That one was fun. All right. Just killed 89,000 experience orbs. <laughs> Dude, the game was handling 89,000 orbs at the same time. How did it not crash. <laughs> That's crazy. What in the world? That is just uncalled for. Like, I don't even know what to do with that. It wasted so much time. I only have 12 minutes left. What do I do? What do, I do? If 89,000 entities isn't crashing it, what, in the, what, what am I supposed to do, man? All right, here's an idea. A fireball with so much explosion power that everything just... Get, gets destroyed. Did it work? Did it, did it even do anything? I don't, it didn't do anything. Bruh. <laughs> All right, what about 100? Oh. All right, so like 122 is the max I can do. Uh... Oh. Oh, I didn't even... <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what if I just do... Oh, oh, oh. What if I just do this? Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Uh... <laughs> Go more. Go more. Okay, so note to self, that's it, that's insane. That is a lot of fire. Uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> huh. Well, well, that it didn't work, but it was cool. <laughs> Still running at a solid like 400 to 500 frames right now. That is so much fire. Oh my gosh, look how shattered the world is. That's so cool. Oh, look, diamond. Okay, this is really fun, but I'm running out of time. I only have six minutes left. Uh, this is It's definitely lagging stuff. You can see it's like frame jitters, but it's not actually crashing anything. Can I brute force this? Beep. Oh, 
Oh, what did I do? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that was a freeze. Oh, jeez. Oh, there they go. Bye, fireballs. See you later. That's so much fire. Oh, my gosh. I'm doing it again. Here we go, baby. From a distance. <laughs> what is... Oh, I only have five minutes left. I need to stop. <laughs> I'm definitely getting, like, some, some frame lags. I'm pretty sure you guys can see that, where it's just, like, it's taking a second to render it, but it isn't... It hasn't crashed yet. This was a lot of explosion. <laughs> I can cannot believe that this amount of destruction as well as 89,000 experience orbs didn't crash this game. What in the world? I mean, I know it's optimized Minecraft, but like, geez, dude. Oh my gosh, the fire really traveled too. Okay, all right. I, uh, I don't know what else to do. Uh, three minutes, 42 seconds. What do I, how about, what if I do, uh, what if I do that armor stand thing? Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time. I don't know if I'm gonna have time. Okay, this, this now just summons an armor stand out of an armor stand. If this is set up correctly, Correctly, then it might uh, this might this could work beep. Oh Yep, uh-huh. Okay. All right. That's that is functioning That is functioning two minutes 47 seconds I don't count it until the screen goes white and it tells me that it's crashing. Uh Okay, it's a black screen. I might have actually done it two minutes 12 seconds. It still hasn't like officially crashed. Oh, Oh. Dude, did I actually do this with two minutes to spare? I think I did it with two minutes to spare. All right, stop the clock, 154. That's what my final time was. I was able to do it. It was, uh, that was definitely a lot of entities, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, turns out you absolutely can crash optimized Minecraft. But to be honest, that does kind of make sense. <laughs> there is only so much that hardware and software can do together. That's why I like breaking Minecraft, because I know that there's a limit, and it's fun to find the limit. But this was a very interesting experiment. The craziest thing was the fact that this game could handle 89,000. Can I, I cannot restate that enough. That is so insane. Such an immensely crazy number of experience orbs were in one world, and I was still getting two frames per second. I don't know. That was, that just blew my mind. <laughs> oh, shoot. Wait, does that mean the 4090 wasn't worth it? Oh, man. So I hope you learned something, and I hope you can optimize Minecraft yourself. I don't do outros, really, so I don't know how to end this video.